In this video, uh, I wanted to visit the map function and um, just to make a thing a bit fun and easier, I built a small program to interact so it can be faster showing the three different examples. Um, right now I'm using, I took out of my collection a, a different Arduino board, uh, it's a, a clone basically again. Um, I did test it using a, a simple sketch and um, I bricked a microcontroller so I had to replace it. Uh, I have a few of them uh, in my collection. It's uh, They're already preloaded with the bootloader so it's easy just to swap them. Uh, not sure what happened but uh, it just stopped functioning. I'll try to flash it and use it again uh, but thankfully I had a few spare available. Let's visit the map function and why it's important for robotic projects, especially running motors. Um, basically if you don't map, you're reading from analog input from a pod or a joystick. Uh, they act a bit different, but here I'm talking about a pod. And the value range from 0 to 1023. And these are bits long. Um, the map does the converting for you and output it into bytes and the range would be around uh, is 0 to 225 and what's cool about doing that conversion is that map function also convert positive and negative so you could have a motor going forward and backward in the three example I'll show what happened when you don't use the map function when you use the map function and when you use the map function with a negative value and positive so this would be the original value and this is what you want it to be converted into and these can the actual uh, function can be found in the, the sketch itself so Let's take a look at the second example with no map and see what happened. Basically the program would just loop and read the value from the pot. The LED is to simulate a motor. It's just better have a visibility on what happens. So right now we're dead on zero. And we know it goes to 1023. Let's see what happens. The lights go brighter and brighter as the value goes up whoop it dropped remember at 255 oh it goes back again drops again another range of 225 225 225 so there's four times there's four range so if you divide 1023 by 4 it's around 225 so that would make sense so re remember if you want to run motors if you didn't change or map the value you would get a certain point in your pot and it your motor would stall start and you would have some problems let's see if we map it let's go straight to number three um, well, actually, number one. This time from 0 to 225. So it's going to capture an analog signal and change it into a, a pulse with modulation, which is a frequency type. There's different frequency. I think there's PPA or, or a different type. See here with that 214 going up because we told the range would be 225. It goes to the maximum. We know this is the maximum. If you want to, if you go one higher, your mo motor would stall or the light would go just would not be lit. See how smooth it is. So it's perfect for controlling motor. But right now we just have forward, stop, going forward, stop. So if we go back to the main menu. And we look at example number three where we're mapping negative value with the maximum which is 255 
we're gonna have uh, the perfect mapping to reverse a motor to maximum value and go forward maximum value so here with that minus 255 it's a bit lit yeah but it goes higher 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 and we were in the negative here that's why it's not really a good representation using a pot here if you go higher in the positive range maximum range so this gives you a better understanding how you could go about controlling a motor um, and as well setting specific range if you don't want it to go to full uh, throttle uh, you could do that uh, as well keep in mind everything is uh, you have to keep in mind of other things like the voltage of the battery how many voltage the arduino is taking your motor shield the xb so all these you need to take in consideration but just looking at how to control with a simple circuit like this this is how you would do it i'll post everything in the description to access uh, even the program if you want to try it as well.